Other news this evening, more than a month after a deadly toxin was found inside this Oshkosh residence, efforts began to test for and remove any remaining toxin with the goal of making the home livable again. Today's test samples, all negative so far, but crews are waiting for final results before deciding whether more testing and cleanup are needed. In October, a man was arrested for allegedly making the toxic substance inside the house. That house is in the 800 block of Frederick Street, not far from the UW Oshkosh campus. As many as 20 people from local, state, and federal agencies helped today with the detection and the cleanup. Laura Smith has today's update in this Fox 11 follow-up. Cleanup trucks, trailers, and tents surrounded this Frederick Street home Wednesday. Hazmat teams went in and out of the house. Since November 2nd, the FBI and local agencies have restricted access to the residents. It was a shock. Uh, I just can't believe that, you know, something like that would ever happen, especially, uh, you know, two doors down from you. But um, it's just been fascinating to watch it all unfold. The county health department and the EPA are leading the cleanup effort. It's going fine as far as actual operation of doing it. It's going fine. Health officials say it took a lot of time getting resources together to get started. Eventually, they had to call the EPA for help. They're uh, essentially taking samples within the home uh, to determine if there's any more ricin present. Uh, and they'll be doing some cleaning in areas where we knew ricin was present um, from the initial investigation. The EPA is collecting samples here at the home. They're then transported to an off-site location where they are tested by the Wisconsin National Guard. All of the samples that are collected here on the handheld and that are, um, that are negative for ricin will be confirmed uh, through additional testing, a more sensitive test um, that occurs at the uh, civil support team lab at the station over at the armory. A simple bleach solution is being used to detoxify any remnants of ricin in the home. Just light spraying onto it, it should kill the, kill the proteins if it's there, and, um, and that's it. And then we'll wipe it up, sample it, see if it's done, and, and if it is, we're good. Officials say the public has not been and is not at risk. The suspect in the case is Kyle Smith. He's facing multiple charges and faces life in prison if convicted. Smith has pleaded not guilty. His trial is scheduled for February. In Oshkosh, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. After the cleanup is done, the health department will figure out if more steps are needed or if the home will be returned to the owners. Now, for now, the EPA is paying for the cleanup costs, but it is possible eventually the property owner will have to pay.